one and two. Today we're going to learn about how to color grade cyberpunk style in Adobe Lightroom. All of the steps can be used on both desktop as well as mobile, so let's do this. Hey guys, this is Justin and welcome to my channel where it's all about photos, videos, and camera stuff for beginners. So start learning right now by subscribing to the channel as well as clicking the bell button beside to get notified every time I post a video. So before we color grade for anything, we need to know what are we color grading for. And for that, let's go to Google Images and search up Cyberpunk and let's look for some reference photo. And from this reference photo, we know that Cyberpunk is all about the color red, pink, blue, and aqua. Knowing that this is what we are trying to achieve, now we can go to Adobe Lightroom. I'm going to use Adobe Lightroom Classic, but you, if you have Adobe Lightroom CC or mobile instead, you guys can follow along because all of the settings will be the same. It's just the interface that is different. So right off the bat, let's jump right into Adobe Lightroom and go to the develop panel and select the picture that you want. So if you guys don't have any picture, just use mine. I will link mine in my Google Drive down below in the description for you guys to download and use it along this tutorial. So first thing first, let's fix the photo's composition. And we can go down to our transform. And then after that, I'm going to scale mine up just a little bit. And then I can do my Y offset. I want to expose more up top and at the side. So, Y offset, X offset. Okay. And then after that, we are done here. And let's go to the basics panel where we will find the temperature, the tint, and the tones. Right now, I'm not going to touch any of the temperature and the tint yet. I'm just going to do the exposure first. So, I want to expose, bring up the exposure level as well as the contrast. Then I want to pull down all my highlights first for now and then the shadows, I'm going to bring it down a little bit as well and I'm going to off all the whites. I don't need all the whites. I don't need any of the whites to be honest. And then the blacks, just bring up more texture. Just bring up more contrast to the photo. And then after that, let's move on to this presence part where we can adjust the texture. I like it to be a little bit more crispy, showing more details bring up the clarity as well. This kind of like sharpens your photo a little bit. And the haze, oh, just a little bit. And then I'm gonna bring up the vibrance a bit. So right now, I'm done. I'm, it can be considered that I'm done with my basics panel. And let's go to colors. So in color, I like to use this all instead of going individually on one, 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 one color. I'm gonna turn on the all. And from the all, Let's first, uh, from our reference photo, we would like it to be more pink, more bluish, more aqua. So right now, we can change the hue of our red to become like somewhere around pink. Bring up the saturation as well as the luminous. I want it to be really shining. And the orange part, let's move it to red. And right now, you can really start to see the difference. Bring up the saturation as well as the luminance. Wow, and the yellow, let's move it to red a little bit for now. And then if it's too much, we can always adjust it later on. Okay, so the green I'm going to ignore, but I can always turn, turn off the saturation because I don't really need the green. And uh, aqua, let's move it to a little bit more aqua and luminance up. And blue, let's move it to aqua here, right here. And then just move it up. Okay, right now it's looking a bit more red than it should be. Shouldn't be this red, it should be somewhere balanced, but right now it's looking really red right now. So we're going to go back to the yellow part and turn down a little bit. Because remember, we still haven't adjusted the color temperature of the entire picture. So that's about it for the colors part. And then let's move on. Let's go back to our basics panel where we can adjust the tint. Let's make it a bit more magenta-ish. Yeah, let's just bring out the pink. Let's bring out the pink in the picture, make it more pink. And then from the blue, let's add in a bit more blue and we are almost there already. So right now I'm seeing that there is something missing that we need a little bit more blue. So the temperature part, yes. Let's make it that way. 
and then I'm gonna bring up exposure just a little bit more and here comes the highlights part let's play around with it make it really shine because when it comes to cyberpunk it's all about CDs lights neons so this is what we're looking for and it's going great so far so this is a little too much blue somewhere around there and then the magenta slow down a bit on the magenta and the shadows and the blacks okay a bit more blue yep somewhere there looking great so far and from the presence i would like to bring up the clarity a little bit more as well as the vibrance okay somewhere there let's close this basics panel and then let's move on to some effects so from the effects the only effects that i use is the vignetting that's all so for vignetting let's put in a little bit vignetting and from the midpoint eh, i don't really care about all this it's fine and then what else lens correction do you want to correct the lens we should actually do this like at first it will correct the picture but it's just as simple as enabling the profile correction and you'll show that your lens profile here if not just move on to the manual settings and then you get just everything like manually so from the details okay let's do some sharpening as well because we want those windows and we want those buildings to be looking as sharp as they can so bring up the sharpness and you can see from this panel here and the radius a little bit more details not that much okay and then split toning no not not split toning i want to do current tone. so i want more highlights so this is the highlight part i'm gonna bring up a bit more highlight just to give you a more shine drag down the mid part a little bit and then last but not least put it a bit more blacks right here on the shadows okay i want it to be more red right now a little bit more red so we can go back here and then from the yellow part let's uh, just a bit more red make it more pink and then here we go we are done so here's the before and after photo. So what do you guys think of this tutorial? If you guys have any questions, now's the time for you guys to leave a comment down below. And if you guys are looking for more tutorials on Lightroom, I'll link my videos down in the description as well. So check them out if you want. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't and hit the bell button beside as well. Like if you like this video. And again, thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye.